guys, today we're going to be exploring the resistance of potatoes. No, not that type of resistance. We're going to look at the resistance to an electrical current. Resistance is defined as an electrical quantity that measures how a potato reduces the electric flow through it. Resistance is measured in units of ohms, which are represented by this little symbol here. For our experiment, we're determining whether there's a difference in resistance between potatoes boiled in salt water and potatoes that aren't boiled at all. Our potatoes were cut into equally sized cubes and randomly assigned to our two treatments. Our salty treatment potatoes were boiled for 15 minutes in salt water and taken out to cool afterward. Both groups of potato cubes were then hooked up to an ohmmeter, where the resistances to electrical current were calculated. Now let's talk more about our experimental design. For our experimental design, we took 18 potatoes and cut them into 1 inch by 1 inch cubes. Our potatoes were then randomly assigned to avoid a sticky situation. Our two treatment groups were salty boiled potatoes and normal unboiled potatoes. We had 35 potato cubes in our salty group and 35 potato cubes in our normal group. For our salty group, we took 5 tablespoons of salt for 2 quarts of water. The potatoes in the salty group were then boiled for 15 minutes and taken out to cool before we could calculate their resistance in ohms. <laughs> Okay, so we're gonna go around and ask people what they would do if they got a potato. Okay, so just, if I gave you this potato, no. what would you do with it? I would probably put it in my fridge. That's dinner for two days. Okay. Hey, if I gave you this potato, what would you do? Yeah. I'd try to step on it. Okay. So the reason we chose this experiment was because a lot of science classes use potato batteries as a lab and we wanted to see whether salty boiled potatoes or normal potatoes would produce the best results for science experiments. The mean resistance of the potato cubes that were boiled in salt water was 0.853 mega ohms, which is less than the mean resistance of the potatoes that weren't boiled at all, which is 2.7 mega ohms. Our null hypothesis was that the true mean resistance for salty boiled potatoes and normal potatoes is equal, while our ultimate null hypothesis was that the true mean resistance for the two groups of potatoes are not equal. We conducted a two sample T test with alpha significance level 0.05. After conducting our experiment, we obtained a T value of negative 16.743 with degrees of freedom 34, and we obtained a P value of 0. Since our P value of 0 was less than the significance level of 0.05, we rejected the null hypothesis. There is convincing statistical evidence that the mean resistance for salty boiled potatoes and normal potatoes is not equal. We also carried out a two-sample t-interval for the true difference in mean resistance between our two treatment groups. With 95% confidence, we were able to determine that the true mean difference between our two groups lies between the interval negative 2.067 to negative 1.627 mega ohms.